A military charity is warning that the vast number of charities that are helping veterans is creating an entitlement culture among ex-servicemen. Care After Combat have told the government the mental health condition post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD is also being worn as a badge of honour by some veterans. Well, joining us now to tell us more is Chief Executive of Care After Combat, uh, Jim Davidson. Uh, good morning to you, Mr Davidson. Good morning, Sarah Jane. How are uh, you? Uh, yeah, I'm very well, thank you. But I just want to talk about these comments that have been made by your charity uh, with regard to veterans yes. wearing post-traumatic stress disorder as a badge of honour. I know there'll be a lot of veterans <laughs> watching Sunrise at home this morning yeah, uh, well, shouting at the TV. I, I, I How do you qualify those statements? Well, I hope they do shout at the TV because that's not actually what the report says. The report says that post-traumatic stress disorder, it could be as a buzzword to cloak more deeper and underlying mental issues. PTSD, I've got lots of mates. I've got guys in here today with PTSD and there's other guys with mental problems who think they have post-traumatic stress disorder and they don't. They really need help. Post-traumatic stress disorder is awful, but it's not the biggest problem the veteran faces. We have found, or the boffins have found, not me that the uh, the biggest problem the veteran faces is alcohol and drug misuse combat stress are working 24 7 to deal with post-traumatic stress disorder what we want to do is to filter through that buzzword and find out the other underlying problems like depression and anxiety that lead to drinking that lead to mismanagement of one's life and end up in prison where we get the guys uh, and Mr. Davis, I just want to come back to something that the report did say. It said it's creating an entitlement culture amongst ex-servicemen. What do you mean by that? I think what's been pointed out by the, by the report, by the professors, is that there are so many military charities now, and we have seen this, that what is the, what is the point of a guy getting up and going to go to work when someone wants to come along and give him this and give him that? What the guy really wants, what the veteran wants, especially our guys who've just come out of prison, they want a level playing field, they want someone to give them a job, they want someone to give them a second chance. Our, our veterans do not want handouts. They certainly don't want pity. They're a brave bunch of guys, and all they want is a chance to get on and prove they can do things. So what's the answer then? Because something worrying to come out of this report is that somewhere between 3,500 and 5,000 veterans are actually ending up in Britain's prison. So you're highlighting the problems. What's the solution? Well, the solution seems to be working with a certain amount in the C and D prisons is that we're high. We, we give them a, a mentor and that mentor, I've got 45 of them in today training. They go in, they have a like minded person to speak to the, the veteran in prison. When the veteran comes out, I guys stay with him for 12 months. We find him a job. We find him somewhere to live. We sort out those mental health problems and not just PTSD. We say, OK, if you think you have PTSD, let's get to the bottom of it. We're working with the NHS to deal with these mental health problems behind the wire and we're working with other charities when they come out to make sure the veteran's got everything he needs to get on back to life, not just to sit there and think, bring it all on. A very small, tiny minority, it have to be said, might take that on as a challenge. Let's see what we can get. But 99.9% .9 of all the people that leave the military are absolutely have no problem at all. We look after the little guys like this, and they're the ones that we take care of. And, and you talk about working with other charities. There are around 2,000 yeah. charities helping veterans exactly. in this country. Mm. Is that diluting mm. the help that they get? Would it not be better for you all to work together? Why isn't there one big charity? Because surely there isn't a need for 2,000 of them. Well, I, well, here's the thing, right? What we have noticed, when Simon Weston was a trustee and chairman of our charity, he's instantly recognisable by other veterans. So they go up and they pour their heart out. That's why we noticed there was a, a gap in the veteran charities uh, group. No one looked after the veterans in prisons to stop them reoffending, or better still, to get them to choose not to reoffend. So that's what we did. And we found out there's lots of little overlaps everywhere and there's no one really to get them all together. There is a society or an association, but it needs more teeth. We should all listen to the MP Johnny Mercer. He has the right idea. Let's make it simple for the veteran. Let's, let's give the veteran a chance without all this confusion. I mean, he can have a house, he can get clothes, he can have food, he can be paid, he can do this, he can go and stroke a horse. What he really wants is just to get out and get back into society. And we need to cut through all this stuff. 
Okay. Military charities are, are about helping the veteran. They're not about making the person that formed that charity feel good. It needs to be focused on the veterans. And all the military charities need to come together, stop all this bickering and fighting. None of us know best, including my lot in there. Let's all get together. Let's get the veteran back on his feet. It's okay. what the public want. It's Is what the government want. OK, Jim Davison, thank you very much. And, of course, it's important to know that those who are donating to these veteran charities, that their money are being used for the veterans and not being watered down by the fact that it's uh, being spread amongst so many charities. And Jim Davidson, CEO of Care After Combat, one of those charities, uh, thank you very much. A bit of breaking news for you.